Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great start of this weekend. And welcome to this new video on Conflux and the CFX coin. I know that a lot of you are still interested in Conflux. And uh, well, personally, myself, I'm interested in it as well. Um, there were some good trades you could have taken. Uh, also, based on my analysis, because so far, I think I've been pretty right. Uh, but you'll be the judge of that. In this video, we'll take a look at Conflux as well. We just had a major bearish breakout. We're at a quite crucial moment right now and quite a crucial level. Um, and um, and I do have a I do have a, a strong opinion on where I think you can best buy Conflux. So we'll get into that in this video. But before we do that, if you want to receive my daily trading uh, signals and join my signal and trading group, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comment. There you'll find instructions on how to join. All right, but now on to, uh, on, on to Conflux. Well, uh, focus on the technicals mainly. Uh, you all know that I, I cover fundamentals as well when it's needed. For today, I don't think it's, it's needed that much. All right, so yesterday, um, the, the famous bearish breakouts, which we were talking about for the last couple of days already, uh, happened or was it actually yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Uh, our, our main support level around 36 and a half cents um, gave up. It uh, it broke down with the bearish pressure that already started last Sunday uh, was just too much. Broke down below the, uh, the 50 EMA. So what we said yesterday is that like our last hope then would be 34 cents. And to be fair, we got some support at 34 cents, but it was by far not strong enough. Uh, the bearish momentum that kind of pushed Bitcoin down and then together with uh, with some, some FUD around Binance and the pausing of spot trading, I think caused us to lose 34 cents as well. Technically, the level ranged from 33 to, to 34. So we, we technically only broke that yesterday evening, but we it was almost uh, while we were finding support there, there was almost no way we, you could think that we would actually find enough support there. But all right, so we broke down under the 618 FIP, under 34 cents uh, earlier today. Um, then we kind of were in this area between the between the 100 EMA, which is that great line, and 34 cents. Uh, but it seems that even today, even though it's Mar uh, even though it's Saturday, so volume is usually a little bit lower and, and volatility as well. Um, it seems like we're not holding that 100 EMA, and we're just following the trend right now. It seems to, if if you see the EMA is kind of clawing like this, it's almost like a claw. It's kind of a, it's it's a reversal because we're we're giving up all of uh, we're giving up our our uptrend. So I expect us to drop down towards this level right here, around 30 cents, uh, which is a which is a technical key level, and 30 cents is a psychological key level, a support level. Um, now, the thing I'm struggling with, though, is that I am not sure if 30 cents is going to be that strong. And I'm, I'm leaning towards saying that it isn't. Uh, the level, I think, is more interesting. I mean, if we if we get to 30 cents and from there we can actually find support and perhaps even break above 34 cents again, then it's strong. And I was wrong. And we'll consolidate and perhaps even start another uptrend. But I think at this point in time, it's more likely that we will drop down to, th to 30 cents, which uh, technically, by the way, ranges from 29 and a half cents and 30.7 cents right now i think it's more likely that what we will find support there but then we'll just take a break retest off of the 100 ema around then 33 cents 32 cents uh, and fall down lower towards this level around 28 cents and 27 and a half cents 27 and a half cents is uh, it's really 27 and a half cents by the way it's a minor psychological support level, uh, but apart from that, we do have. Uh, you can see that it's altogether it's it's a stronger support level if we're above that, um, but it's also a strong resistance level. And we got that 200 EMA, uh, which is one of the strongest indicators there is. That's also where we found support before we started the whole rally. Just uh, just to give you some uh, context. And I think this is the level we'll drop down to. It does depend a lot on what Bitcoin does, of course, but this is really the first level where I will at least consider buying CFX again. But that's my take on it today. I'll keep you updated on that. Let me know if you're interested in daily updates on CFX. But for now, thank you for watching. Enjoy your weekend and bye.